answer these three questions perfectly to see if this video is for you. How much do you spend every month on streaming services? How much do you spend every month on dining and food delivery services? Finally, how much do you spend every month on rent and mortgage repayment? If you have answered those three questions right, congratulations! You have a good grasp of your budget and your finance. You know exactly where your money is going and you don't need to watch anymore. You can drop off right now. This video is not for you. Before leaving, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for content in the future. Maybe there will be something for you. If you had less than two good answers, then this video is for you. You may not know exactly where your money is going and you may run into financial issues later on. Fortunately, by watching this video, you've taken the first right step and that puts you already ahead of the game compared to 90% of other people who live paycheck to paycheck and have no idea where their money is going. To help you on this right path, I've put together those five easy steps to take control of your budget and I apply all of those to myself as well. After those five steps, I even have a special free something for you. Sounds interesting? Let's get started. Hello everyone, I'm Johan from Economia, your destination for financial independence, tips to invest and spend wisely. You cannot measure what you're spending if you don't know what it is. So our first step is to list up all of the expenses from the past months or the past two months to see actually what they are and put them into categories. Grab your bank, stat bank statement, sorry, your credit card statement, debit card statement or any receipt you may have and we put them into categories. Regardless of where you live, we all have more or less the same spending categories. Let's start from the top, a rent or mortgage payment. Then you have utilities. You need to warm yourself, you need electricity, you need gas in the home. Then we continue. Maybe you have streaming services for entertainment, phone, internet service. Then you probably need groceries because you need to eat. Then you're gonna have all those daily necessities that you need for yourself to make your life easy for what you need in your home and for yourself. Then we continue. Of course you have medical in, in case anything happens, any debt repayment you may have. If we continue, you have taxes to pay. Then of course transportation of the gas for your car and then maybe you have a car or back to, a bike sorry, to repay so that's going to be that. Then restaurant, foods, any in food delivery service, everything that you do not cook yourself or go out to eat. Then clothing, then interior, then any kind of entertainment where you go out, then any trip you're taking. And that should take care of everything you need and everything that you are spending on. And if there's an extra, maybe a miscellaneous category would do it. Then you sum up all of these expenses that you put into categories for the past months or the past two months and that would give you the total of how much you spent. Did you know you were spending that much? Did you know you were spending that much on each category? And as importantly, is the total of your expenses bigger, smaller or equal to your income for the past two months? This is our first step. Next, we need to understand the expenses. It sounds silly, but if you're paying mainly using a credit card, a debit card or a phone payment service, you don't actually see the money coming out. Maybe you pay with cash a bit, but you don't actually see the amount or you don't remember them. So it's really important to look at the list we just made and understand which expenses are coming up every month. Probably your rent or your repayments, your heating, your phone. Which expenses are one off? Maybe you went on a trip. Maybe December you had all of the expenses to go see the family for gifts or anything. So which one are one-offs, which one are recurrent? And which ones are the bigger? Which one are the smallest? Which one are eating most of your income? This gives you a good visualization of where your main expenses are going. We need to prioritize those expenses. There are really two types of expenses. Your living expenses and what I would call your luxury expenses. You're like, what luxury? I have no luxury. Hold on, I'm gonna explain. Your living expenses are obvious. This is the minimum you need to be able to function and live. You need a roof over your head. You need food in your belly. You need heating, 
You need to be contactable for work or for your family. You need to take care of yourself and that includes having uh, access to medical, having soap, having all those necessities, right? You need clothes on your back to be able to go outside and work. You need transportation. Those are your living expenses. This is the minimum you need to function. Everything else is gonna be your luxury expenses. By that I mean going out to eat at a restaurant. If you can have food at home, it's nice to go to a restaurant and I love it as well. But that's not an absolute necessity. Going on a trip is good to relax, but again, not an absolute necessity. Expensive pair of shoes, a brand new computer. If your computer is not broken and you still have shoes, this is nice to have, but it's not an obligation. So these are what I call luxury expenses, if you see what I mean. So look at it and classify and prioritize. The most important are your living expenses. If you don't have that, you cannot live. Make sense? If the total of all your expenses that we've just listed up is above your income, then you are in the red. You're spending too much. If your expenses are exactly equal to your income, good job, you've balanced your budget. No margin of errors, but at least you're not losing money every month. Ideally, you want a balanced budget, meaning that your expenses are lower than your income. And every month you have a little bit of extra that you can put on the side just in case. This is the ideal. If your budget is not balanced, meaning you're in the red, your expenses are higher than your income, then you have trouble. You need to look at how to reduce your expenses. First, you look at your living expenses. That's why we just prioritize them. Are they at the minimum you can have? Are you doing your grocery shopping at a reasonably priced place? I know the price of food has gone through the roof across the world, but can you find a place that's not as luxurious? Maybe there might be better ways to look for deals. Same, you're buying clothes, you need clothes, are you buying very expensive clothes or can you go one or two grades down to still buy nice clothes but not as expensive? And same for everything. Does your phone need that many mega of data every month if you have access to Wi-Fi? All those little things you need to look at in detail. This is really important. And how to do that? I just said prioritize your expenses. You need to reduce your expenses as the first way and I just explained. And you cut back the luxurious expenses. The second way of doing it is increasing your income, right? It's income minus expenses. So one has to be higher than the other. If you're unbalanced, then increasing the income would work as well. How do you increase your income? You're gonna tell me, it's very tough. It is indeed. Get a promotion. Maybe you're up for promotion, get a promotion. That's gonna give you a bit of a pay raise. Find a new job that pays better in another company. Usually when you move regularly, you, you tend to get a higher income or higher salary. Have a side hustle. Do you have a second job? Are you selling stuff online? Do you have dividend revenue, whatever, from your investment? Anything that helps you increase your income. Finally, the other way of doing it is basically doing both. I explained how you could lower your expenses and you should at the same time try to increase your income. So the spread between the two increase and you can balance your budget. It's not something easy, but that should be your most important part. And your most important task is to have a balanced budget. Balancing your budget is really tough, especially if you are trying at the same time to increase your income and reduce your expenses. This is very hard, but the fact that you're watching this video today means that you are ready to try hard things. So I'm sure you can make it happen. It's not easy, it's gonna take a bit of time, but I'm sure you can make it. Tracking spending is not an OCD behavior. It will give you a certain level of financial clarity, says Keith at investmentmodes.com. I really like this quote. Looking at your spending is not a one-off. It's something you have to do it over a few months so you can spot some trends, see what are one-offs, what are recurrent expenses, but also you can see where there might be issues and solve them because before, sorry, they get out of control. Also, you can see immediately where you've improved. It's a great reward to see that you've actually tackled your expenses and you're still able to live a nice life without being in the red every month. It's hard, 
but doing regularly gives you the financial clarity and the start to financial freedom. And that's exactly why you're watching this content, isn't it? Now, if you want to do it every month, you need some kind of tool. And that's where, because you've watched until now, I'm ready to give you your freebie. First, there's two ways of getting this freebie. The first one is the app way. You want to be able to track everything with an app, a free app, isn't it? So, depending where you live, I have listed up down below all the best budgeting apps for you. The other way is the way I prefer is using a spreadsheet, like the one you have on screen right now. This is the template of the one I regularly use and you can download it right below. It's a spreadsheet that was done on Google Sheet and I use exactly the same to track my expenses every month. And I've been doing it for years. You can just download it and as you can see, you make a copy and you put it on your own Google account. If you prefer Excel, you can download it as an Excel and put it on your computer and put it in Excel 365. Whichever, and if it's Apple numbers, it works as well. This is done by category for every month. And if during a month you go negative, it's gonna show you in red immediately. You can also add your salary, your side hustle, hustle sorry, and any possible reimbursement or the income you're getting. And automatically it's gonna tell you how much you have at the end of the month. This is a very simple way of tracking your expenses and really visualizing which ones are the biggest, which ones are the smallest, which ones are just recurring, and which ones are just one-offs. This is for me really, really useful. And I share that with my significant other. And we are doing that for our household. Do not hesitate to use that if you like. If you prefer the apps, again, you have all the links down below. And this should put you on the right financial path. To success. If you want to know more about what 2023 has in the back for us, check this video. If you're interested about Japan and its economy, you can check this video. Next time, we'll talk about reducing debt and paying ourselves first. So do not hesitate to subscribe so you won't miss it. And if you like this video or learn something, consider giving it a like. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, goodbye.